another way to creating your object that it's use a lot in lots of projects is I will explain it. Uh, it's interlocked slice. I insert a human head in default and select my TCP uh, preset and in that I choose a tool diameter three millimeter. It means uh, my head for cutting in a CNC machine is three millimeter, the tool of that. So in this case, it's very important because uh, in this method, we are interlocking the slices together. It's very important. Bring the two centimeter original and then select the technique to interlock slices. This is interlock slices. You can create an interesting artwork with this method. So in a, a slice distribution, in a slice distribution, you can select that and change the distribution. You can change the method in by count. As you can see, access one, you can any count of object in access one or any count on object in access two. And or you can select it custom. Custom means it's that. So you can select it, simply click and drag the slices the where that you want. And as you can see, it updated automatically. And we interlock or <clears throat> connect all of these uh, slices together to create an object that I explain it. In some cases, as you can see, if you I bring it there, oh, as you can see, it's bring the error. It means uh, the software cannot connect them very well. As you can see, this part maintain disconnected and just you have to select that simply little click and drag to change the uh, change the position of the sum of the pieces to um, correct that issues very simple for example this so it's a custom notch factor is very important as you can see for example we want to uh, you can see it there for better understanding, uh, go to assembly step. Go to zero, and as you can see here, this is our main structure, and uh, the number two, boom. As you can see, it's going in this slot. Number three. And uh, as you can see, we have a hard edges here. In some cases, <clears throat> the, our material is stuck in this or does not go exactly in this slot. So we need some notch, some bevel in these edges to uh, interlock them better. So we come back to uh, a slice. We can select it, a slice distribution, and we can add a notch factor. For example, a higher number. Let's see the difference. You can double click scrolling here. As you can see, these are notch bevel that it's uh, allow other pieces go smoothly in. And the notch angle is 45. You can make any degree here, this degree, this bevel. This is, an, as you can see, it's a 45 degree. You can change the degree of that. Relief type, it's uh, here. For example, we have a CNC laser. As you can see, laser is very thin beam and it can simply handle these corners. But if our tool is not laser and it is a CNC machine, it has a diameter. For example, three millimeter diameter as it comes here and it does not, and it cannot create, because it's a round tool, it cannot create these hard edges or hard corners. So we specify relief type and it causes a problem. It gives in something like this and the uh, pieces does not go exactly to each other. So we create, for example, a dog bone. We create a dog bone. Now, as you can see, the tools can go in this direction and we can lock our object here. Or you can make it a square or make it, for example, a square. It's by default. It does not work correctly horizontally. It's separate the dog bone more 
or vertically double click i think it's a better we have a room to interlock our uh, pieces together better so it's depend on your cnc machine tools so this is an, a slice distribution like other method you can change the uh, slice direction nice you can select this or sorry uh, for distribution if you select any of these we have some tools here you can duplicate it or you can delete it or if you duplicate it here you can in eventually distribute all of these slices in the axis that you want yeah eventually it's distributed so i forget to tell you uh, the direction of that here is very simple like that you can as you can see change the direction here is uh, another uh, axis that you can change that all of the this direction that you want interesting then select it again select select click on a uh, surface in the screen that you can activate it again for example if you choose this axis it's only rotating this direction also you can rotate in this direction of that axis or you can reset it interesting so you can select then rotate it in this direction also in this direction then select a screen then select this then this select it in this direction also in this direction interesting so you can freely um, rotate your axis to create an interesting artwork and in some cases it's bring, um, bring the issues it means i cannot uh, lock them correctly or cut them please change the axis change the number of them to correct that issues it's very simple you can see the issues here as you can see it's very bad it's not correct for creating our work it's suddenly uh, simply disconnect and break this part you can break that part as you can see it's always oh, 13. the software tells you okay this works are not cor work correctly for you please make more room for creating your pieces and you can without any problem use them uh here i i can explain modify form now for this part it's nice uh i give a by distance you can select by distance it's very nice you can select the distance between uh for some cases you need uh, you need ex uh, you want to know exactly distance between these these parts for example if you want to create a uh book and you want to put your book on this your hard work you can if you want to know for example i want to access number one five centimeter for example you know the distance between these two parties five centimeter so by distance or you can buy distance by count simple uh modify form you can uh expand or compress your model in this software but i don't uh suggest you here but you can shrink wrapping your model in any number that you can select it here shrink it wrap it create more puffy more uh a space for your work it's doubling your model your original model that i it's originally change your original shape be careful about that you can hollow it if you want empty space in its spot i don't suggest you if you want to hollow model please make it in your 3d model and then you can apply it if you want for example if you want hollow object uh, you can create it in your 3d software very simple nice don't use it very much you can reset it you can redo your works and as you can see it's make your object more bulky 
Now, as you can see, this is a, the purpose of shrink wrap, or you can thicken that. This is a modify form and assemble, and then you can get pl pl uh, plans. Export it to the DXF and bring it to your CNC machine or to the laser machine. So this is the second method for construction technique. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.